hello friends today i am going to show you how to create and enable remote desktop session in a windows 10 pc to do so first ensure that your windows 10 pc and your client computer from which you are going to access the remote desktop those must be connected with a proper ip address in my case i have assigned a ip address to my windows 10 pc that is 192.168.10.1 in my earlier video i have already show you how to assign ip address to a windows 10 pc so to enable remote desktop connection it is very easy uh, select your uh, computer in windows 10 right click go to properties go to remote settings and just select allow remote connections to this computer this point and if your client computer is also running windows 7 or higher version like windows 8 or windows 10 you may check this checkbox otherwise you should checkbox empty now press ok now you have to create an user or you may use your existing user uh, for remote desktop to login I am going to create a new user in Windows 10. So to create a new user in Windows 10 in easy way, just follow the step. Uh, right click on your computer, go to manage. Look at local user and groups over here. Go to users and click new user. Provide a username and a password you can use a uh, simple password or complicated password and do ch uh, click on the this checkbox and uncheck the checkbox because if you don't clear this checkbox while you are going for fast logon you have to change your password we don't want to do so create and now go to groups locate here uh, remote desktop users double click on it and click on add and enter the username you have just created click on check names and ok ok we are done now go to your uh, client computer from where you are uh, going to access this computer remotely in my case as I am using a uh, virtual machine my I am going to access uh, this uh, computer from my host machine that is Windows 7 this is my host machine and I have uh, also configured a IP address with same network that is 192.168.10.2 uh, go to run you can uh, go to run in two ways uh, that is uh, click on start and R all together otherwise uh, in Windows 10 the run is not located in the start menu you can do so manually uh, it is very simple uh, just click on the taskbar go to properties go to start menu uh, go to customize and locate run go to run command and ok and ok from here go to run and here in that is uh, enter a command that is mstsc to launch the remote desktop connection otherwise you can uh, launch the remote desktop connection by uh, clicking on start and in the search box write remote desktop connection both works same and here you have to enter of the computer of your windows 10 pc in which you have just enable the remote desktop connection in this case the IP address is 192.168.10.1 and click on create enter your username that is uh, that user we have created in the Windows 10 PC that is user and the password was this click on okay okay this is the authentication box click on yes 
look it uh, has uh, launched the remote desktop uh, connection uh, in windows 7 and windows uh, 8 and all client operating systems they allow only one remote desktop connection okay so if we are going to log on from a remote pc to our windows 10 system the user which is logged on locally it has to be logged out it's a limitation you can say that uh, that is here uh, yes and if i look it is asking me to log off okay it will take a while uh, to log off for the first time okay uh, remote desktop uh, is logged on successfully i have logged on using remote desktop connection from my windows uh, 7 pc to the windows 10 pc successfully and it is working okay look in my windows 10 pc the existing user has to be disconnected in order to log on from a remote desktop pc after logging uh, to the windows 10 system using the uh, remote desktop connection from my windows 7 pc uh, this is my windows 7 pc and uh, this is the remote desktop connection which i am using i can work in the windows 10 system from my windows 7 system as as if i am uh, sitting in the windows 10 computer that's why remote desktop is used when a computer is not near to you and you want to work to the computer remotely you can work anything like you can do perform anything like uh, you can access file explorer your computer your drives you can create user format your computer anything that's why remote desktop is used